The next thing we're going to talk about, and these two things are tied together with the law of diffusion of innovation, is one is Simon Sinek's video called Start With Why. Uh, very uh, pivotal video in my life. Um, and then the other thing is the Pixar storytelling method. So these are these two things are uh, intertwined. Um, Ibrahim. I knew I was going to get eaten. Uh, okay, yeah. so here, I'm going to put these in the Discord as well, but I will link it right now. A storytelling method is you need to be able to capture people's attention with a, with either, uh, like what we're doing here, we're building an audience, or if you have a product, like if you're building a startup, um, you need, or pitching to investors, right? These are all things that require a story to get people to believe and buy in. And you have to get the innovators and the early adopters to buy in because at 14 to 18% market penetration, that's when, as we were talking about, you rolling the rock up the hill. At a certain point, it goes down the hill, right? So that, that calling down the hill is called uh, jumping the chasm. The chasm is that 13 to 18% market penetration. If you get that, the people will move you through the rest of the, 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 the chart. They do the work for you, right? So that's what we're doing here is we're doing a hopefully like a masterclass on how to get the innovators, then how to get the early adopters. And then it's something that you can't control, right? At a certain point, I will not be able to control the growth of this community because you guys will be basically in charge of it and it'll be happening on its own, right? Hopefully we're making good content. You wanna share that content because you're innovators and early adopters. You want your people to uh, then know what you know, and then you're gonna share it and then they're gonna share it because it's good content. And so that is, um the way it works so there's a combination of things start with why which we'll get into next but the pixar storytelling method I've is never seen this. it's pretty good so this is how pixar because pixar movies are they're the best right and it's an animated movie so the story is really the most important part like you don't go and see it because of cool graphics you go and see it because every single pixar movie is a great story um and so the way this story works is once upon a time something right so once upon a time this is setting the stage uh and the next thing is and every day right so they're they're saying hey in this universe something's happening every day right this is what makes an attractive and interesting story is the same thing is happening every day now you kind of know what's going on right and then what happens is one day something changes something's different now right so in the context of a company you would say uh once upon a time uh people would uber yeah, before Uber, let's say Uber, for example, um, is you once upon a time, you'd have to take taxis, right? And you'd have to call the taxi and they would come 20 minutes late and you wouldn't know who you were going to get and you had to have cash. So you'd have to go to the ATM before you could call the taxi because the guy didn't have credit card things until one day, right? Someone invented an app. Yeah, it's called the hero's journey. Nigel knows what's going on. Um, wow, the scratchy. hero's journey. So until one day, someone invented an app, right? That could you could call a car with the click of a button. And because of this, all these things changed, right? So like now you can go out and drink with your friends because you don't have to drive and you could call. Or if you don't have a car or a lot of people don't have cars and now they don't have to take public transportation, they could call an Uber. And because of this, another thing happens until finally the whole world has been changed because now everyone uh, uh, can call cars and basically you have on-demand uh, uh, driving, right? And so that is the, the hero's journey as, uh, as Nigel would say. And this is how you tell a story when you're either pitching a company um, or uh, telling a story, right? So everything you do is a story. People really, like we've been attached as humans to-, to, resonate to Yeah, we resonate with stories. And so, and, and the start with why, is going to get into the actual psychological reason why that is um and we can watch a little bit of that hey 62 viewers good we're going up um and, and with uber of course until finally travis is no longer in the company <laughs> right it gets a little darker i mean but, the the hero's journey also people love to watch uh the giants fall right so they we we also have a tendency to build people up and then we also can't wait for them to fail. So those are two things that, that kind of suck, right? So if, if this dream gets extremely big, there will be people who would take a lot of joy in watching this fail, right? So that's just part of the game of getting a, yeah, like mainstream media, like we build up people, we build up Britney Spears until we want to see her 
Buzzer head. Buzzer head. And then there's the there's the redemption story, yeah. which is the third arc. Wow, everyone is sick. People there's the sick. third arc is after we we crush someone, we want to see them. We want to see them come back from. But from, not too much, otherwise we're gonna when, just get. Just otherwise we're gonna put her back down, right? So there's this there's this like uh, roller coaster. They want the control of the roller coaster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The people want to control the roller coaster. So we rise from the ashes. So this is a it's a cyclical story that. We just resonate with it, right? We want to see people build up. We want to crush them down once they get too big and too full of themselves. And then after enough time, we want to see them come back that there's a, there's a chance at second chances, right? It, it talks a lot about our own psychology as as con, as consumers. Anime is really good at, at going through these arcs. And that's why it's called an arc, a story arc, right? Because it's one arc and then you have the next arc, right? So the hero becomes great and then he gets another boss to defeat right and then he gets screwed over and, and then there's another an yeah and they keep changing um so um that's just something to keep in mind and maybe we'll dive into I've this i've never seen this so, you guys like this pixar so here it is actually so in nemo we have inside out um and here's a startup pitch okay so we're gonna go through let's say nemo and the startup pitch so once upon a time there was a fish huh uh you have to click the red button on the back of that and then click yes it says do you want to turn it on or whatever uh where it says broadcast oh no it's good uh cool um mic check 212 hold on let me all right how's the audio audio visual can you hear us both mate mario luigi mate pixar anyone in the chat anyone in the chat anyone anyone all right cool Got it, got it. Um, sweet. All right, so once upon a time, there was a fish named Marlin that was protective of his son, Nemo. And every day, he warned Nemo that the ocean was full of danger until one day, oh, to wow. rebel against his dad, Nemo ignored the warnings and swam on his own into the sea. And because of this, he was captured by a diver and ended up in a dentist's fish tank. And because of this, Marlin enlisted other sea creatures to go and rescue Nemo. Until finally... He found Nemo and learned that love depends on trust. And so that's the story arc of Pixar, right? It's like once upon a time and every day. So they set the scene. This is what life is like. And then something crazy happens. And because of this crazy thing that happened, we have a new universe that we live in. We have a new life. And then the story ends, right? So this new world is now, is now the regular world. And then we get a lesson at the end of it. Um, and the same thing with this, and you can do it with every story, but the story spine for a startup pitch is once upon a time is the problem, right? It's saying the world we live in today is a certain way and we don't like the way it is because of whatever reason, right? And every day, so this is the current solutions and why they're bad. So every day we do this. Every day I have to, you know, do whatever it is. I have to eat breakfast, right? And oh, every day I have to call a taxi, don't know if the driver is going to be bad. Every day you, they're this... Put the Uber one, though, already. Yep. And then until one day, your solution comes along. So you've fixed the problems of this every day. And because of this, now you have a new world. You get to start painting the picture of what this world is going to look like with your startup if it's fully adopted, right? And so that's the key, is you have to tell these people your product, why, what's, like, what's the problem, why your product solves it, and if your product becomes the solution, how does this new world look? And because of this you start talking about your traction, right? Because we built this thing, now people don't have to use taxis. They don't have to go get cash anymore. So you're like, wow, you've solved a big thing. Right, until finally it's gotten into Argentina and now there's no more taxis all over the world and we have Uber X and we have Uber Pool and we have people sharing cars and we're making less gas problems in the world. And we're... And yeah. honestly, once you're at this point in your startup pitch, you've already, you're already at your like series B round. So you probably end over here between between a yellow and the blue if it's a new company um like you're probably if you're starting a new company this is where you stop or your traction if you have a couple of users you can be like and these companies uh, are saving 25 percent on their shipping fees now because of what we built right we in the yellow savings. zone is when sometimes people get acquired sorry if that was too loud yeah, yeah. and by the way if you want to see red is bad so we could turn it down a little bit yellow is good um, uh, yeah, yeah, so this is this is this article. So, oh, we can actually look at um, Once Upon a Time if we want to go through these a little bit more. So, Airbnb, 
Uh, once upon a time, the problem, travel is growing at X percent, but booking a hotel is one of the biggest concerns for travelers. Um, Coinbase says Bitcoin usage is growing among early adopters, but it's complicated to buy and store. There was a time when it was total pain in the ass to figure out how to get your cash into Bitcoin. And they literally were like, we're just going to make an easy website. I remember, I think I bought my first Bitcoin on Coinbase. We did. And it we was bought it in the other room. It was easy. I didn't have to go take cash and meet up with a sketchy guy at a, in a parking lot of a 7-Eleven. Um, we got, is chat alive? You guys alive or are you just listening? What do you think? Yeah, it was so hard to buy Bitcoin. Um, then... For Airbnb, hotel booking is expensive and it doesn't let you live in a, in a house. Um, and especially with Coinbase, the current tools are hard to piece together and limit Bitcoin adoption to engineers and hackers, right? So like if you were an engineer or a hacker, you could use Bitcoin and you could figure out a way to buy Bitcoin because you could mine them, honestly. Like I had my computer, I was mining Bitcoin when you could have literally a laptop and it would let you mine a uh, taking notes. I love that. Um, There's one thing I wanted to mention about the law of diffusion before it's fully gone from this. It's important for everybody to know. A certain person will fall somewhere on the law of diffusion in one category of thing. And then that same person falls completely on a different side of the spectrum on I the other. I used you as an example when I talked about this. Blink. So there's people that are that know the music, right? So we were talking about music, right? Uh, some people are want to be the first to find music. And Killian's the guy that will go to a restaurant that just opened up. And he wants to tell all of his friends if it's good or bad, right? He wants to be the first person that's going and trying this new weird restaurant. And he's the early adopter or the innovator in terms of uh, uh, in terms of food, right? Um, and so everyone has a different thing at different times. So for music, he may or may not be an innovator, early adopter, or late majority. Um, but for different things, he's... So it depends on what you you're interested in. on different in. spots on the, on the law. I yep. just wanted to make sure that everybody knew 100%. that one. Um, and so... And then, so now we're at, until one day, your solution. So Airbnb, we're building a marketplace that lets travelers book rooms with local hosts. So real houses. Um, Coinbase, we're making a hosted Bitcoin wallet, right? So this was, at the time, it was actually really innovative. Um, and because of that, and so what this is, is like, this means travelers can book cheaper accommodations and hosts can make money off their spare rooms. Um and with Coinbase, it makes it simple for anyone to buy, sell, and store their Bitcoin just by connecting their bank account. So there was a time where it was impossible for me to get my parents to get Bitcoin because they were not going to get into the, the command line and start messing around there. They needed a user interface for it to uh, uh, make sense. Um, let's see. And because of that, their traction. So that's why our user base is growing steadily at X percent a month and managing over a billion dollars in Bitcoin. So this is just telling your investors who this is mostly who you're talking to. Um, part of this can be used as your consumer pitch, but a lot of this is directed at how do you pitch your startup to an investor who's going to give you money? And if you want to sell them on your vision and not what you're doing, um, you got to tell them the traction. This is the traction. This is so what we built. The proof that what you built is interesting is your traction, right? Is that people are using it and that they're getting some savings. savings. Um, and then until finally, we're going to just go with the Coinbase. With Bitcoin, uh, the Bitcoin market at a billion dollars and X percent of new Bitcoin buyers fitting into our user profile, we're going after a market worth X billion dollars. 